Are you eating a fat that can stay in your tissues for years, lowering your energy, stressing your gut, and pushing you toward insulin resistance? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster, and I'm here with co-host Alara Sky. Today we're focusing on what Dr. Mercola's mechanistic review reveals about excessive LA intake, mitochondrial breakdown, gut imbalance, and why these pieces converge in metabolic disease. A century ago, you barely ate LA. Now it's everywhere. Soybean, corn, canola, sunflower, safflower, peanut, cottonseed, grapeseed, rice bran oils, and it's hidden in most processed and restaurant foods. You've probably heard these are heart healthy, yet LA is chemically unstable and easily oxidized by heat, light, and oxygen. Instead of being cleanly burned, it builds up in your tissues and quietly interferes with energy production. Many of you report low energy, stubborn weight gain, or creeping insulin resistance despite trying to eat well. The review points to LA as a major hidden driver. Unlike more stable fats, LA doesn't just fuel you and move on. It gets stored, accumulates, and sets the stage for oxidative damage that drains how much usable energy you can generate. The damage starts in your mitochondria. LA gets incorporated into cardiolipin, a distinctive structural fat in the inner mitochondrial membrane that helps hold the energy-producing protein complexes together. Because LA is unstable, once it's in that position, it's vulnerable to oxidation, which weakens the membrane architecture and lowers adenosine triphosphate, ATP output. The review describes a double hit, oxidative stress and reductive stress. Oxidative stress means you're generating excess free radicals. Reductive stress is the backup of unused electrons when your mitochondria are overloaded and can't move them through the transport chain efficiently. Too much incoming fuel, especially unstable fat, pushes electrons to pile up at complex VI and II. When that traffic jam builds, Electrons leak and form reactive oxygen species, ROS, which further oxidize LA sitting in cardiolipin. Now you've lost redox balance. Energy flow becomes erratic, proteins destabilize, and the efficiency of your cellular engines drops. This is a key mechanism tying high LA intake to fatigue, metabolic slowdown, and poor flexibility in switching between fuels. The review also uses a macronutrient example, about 15% protein, 55% carbohydrate, and 30% fat to illustrate how balanced intake supports steadier mitochondrial throughput. Carbs and fats enter through different pathways but converge on the same electron transport chain. If fat, and particularly LA heavy fat, dominates, you overload the system. Balanced intake helps distribute the electron load so your mitochondria aren't swamped. This helps explain why some high-fat eating patterns that look good on paper can fail over time if the fat fraction is rich in LA. Even when blood sugar falls initially, the long-term mitochondrial strain from unstable fats can undo the benefits. Persistence matters. LA has an estimated half-life of about two years in body fat. That means the LA you ate last summer is still influencing your metabolic signals today. Every meal containing high LA oils adds to a long tail of exposure that takes patience to unwind. Over time, that buildup floods your mitochondria with reactive molecules. When electron supply from fat breakdown exceeds what your mitochondria can safely process, you lose control of glucose handling, inflammation rises, and insulin resistance follows. People often blame age, but the review shows you can change this trajectory. Your mitochondria also depend on nutrient cofactors. B, vitamins matter thiamine, or B1, riboflavin, or B2, and niacinamide, or B3, function like spark plugs in your energy pathways, moving electrons and supporting enzyme systems that feed ATP production. Metabolic assessment tools help you see where you stand. HOMA IR, derived from fasting insulin and glucose, is convenient but approximate. The glucose clamp is more precise for measuring how effectively you clear sugar. The review also points to blood-based redox markers, including lactate to pyruvate ratios and indicators tied to the NAD plus to NADH balance. When LA intake is high and mitochondrial processing falters, your cells respond poorly to insulin, 
Your pancreas compensates by making more insulin. Blood sugar creeps up. Fat stores expand. Inflammation compounds. And energy output falls. That downward spiral often begins quietly with what's in your frying pan. Turning this around starts with food choices. Step 1. Ditch vegetable oils completely. Soybean, corn, sunflower, safflower, cottonseed, grapeseed, canola, rice bran, peanut, and the blends used for frying. These hide in processed snacks, dressings, and most restaurant meals. Read labels and cook at home when you can. Step 2. Switch to stable fats that don't damage your mitochondria. Grass-fed butter, ghee, beef tallow, and coconut oil. These saturated fats resist oxidation, don't overload your mitochondria with unstable electrons, and support more reliable redox balance. Dr. Mercola uses them routinely for energy, hormones, and brain function. Step 3. Eat more gut-supporting whole foods once your gut can tolerate them. High-quality carbohydrates such as sweet potatoes, carrots, squash, and rice provide fermentable fibers that feed butyrate production. If you're dealing with bloating, cramping, constipation, or loose stools, heal first and add fiber slowly. Remember the fiber paradox. Step 4. Cut back on olive oil, nuts, and seeds. Even those usually labeled healthy. Walnuts, almonds, pecans, sunflower, and pumpkin seeds carry significant LA. Olive oil, though lower, can oxidize under heat or light and is often adulterated with cheaper vegetable oils. If you're snacking on nut butters or pouring olive oil freely, consider scaling down. Step 5. Stay consistent because LA clears slowly. With a half-life of about two years, stored LA will influence your metabolism long after you change your diet. Each LA-free meal lightens the oxidative burden. Saying no to fried foods, chips, and commercial dressings is a long-term investment in how you feel. Here's your challenge. Audit your pantry and your usual takeout. Identify every product containing the vegetable oils we've named. Replace at least one of them this week with a stable fat option. And note how you feel as you begin lowering your LA load. If gut symptoms are active, start the slow fiber approach. Choose a small portion of one gut-friendly carb like cooked sweet potato, track tolerance, and build from there. Each small change moves you toward better mitochondrial function and more stable energy. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.